Hey what's up guys, hope you're all doing really good today. Now before I get into the topic of this video, I just wanted to address the elephant in the room. Look on the top right, there is no more kind master boys, we finally did it. Now that doesn't mean I paid to get rid of it, basically I have an editor now, um, who should pop up somewhere during this video. Um, he's, he's fantastic, he's an amazing editor, and I'm really glad to have him helping me out with this. So he's going to be editing my videos from now on, which is going to be a little interesting, because I usually edit them myself. But uh, we'll see how this turns out. He's definitely better editing than I am, so I'm 100% okay with this. And I'm glad that this I got a chance for this to actually happen, you know? So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. It's called Girls, Girls Break the Yes Sir Rules Dozens of Times, World's Strictest Parents. So for you guys and girls out there who may not know what this means, basically it's a show where people who are, um, well, more specifically teenagers... Who have issues, I guess, with their parents and families and they're all disrespectful. They get sent out to these homes to try to get them straightened out and learned respect. You can't see, but I just did air quotations there. So uh, we're going to watch one of these videos. It's about nine minutes long, so strap in and uh, get ready for this. I'll see you guys on the other side. I'm kind of nervous to see what they're going to be like. Me and you have to, like, team up. And, like, we are. Yeah, if anything bad happens, like, we're, like, with the other one. Like, yeah, we're, we're packed this yeah. weekend. We'll have nine kids in our family this week. Yo, <laughs> nine kids? I know, like, two of them aren't actually theirs, but yo, these parents have been mad busy. You guys might want to find another hobby. That's that's not a very good habit. It's them. Come on, they're here. <laughs> There's like a gazillion of them. Holy crap. I've never seen so many kids, like, pour out of a house at once. This is kind of nerve-wracking in a way. Hi. <laughs> when we first met the teens. I'm Amber. Oh, her name is Amber. I already don't know how I'm going to feel about this girl. I don't have a very good history with females named Amber. You know who you are. I'm Stephanie. They looked very normal to me. Welcome like to, to our inside. house. They seemed a little shocked due to the size of our family. Welcome to our house. We've got quite a few people in our household yeah. so we've come up with some rules that work pretty well since you guys are going to be staying with us we'd like for you to follow them as well first rule is no smoking drinking or drugs i think it was way too soon for them to just like get into their rules uh we expect you to dress modestly i think it's ridiculously stupid i have no idea what modestly means so this girl doesn't even know what modestly means. That just shows you the level of intelligence that this brick has in her vocabulary. We'd like for you to be respectful to everyone. When you're speaking to Rosemary or myself, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. And just when I thought everything was going so smooth, you guys may not know this about me, but I hate referring to people as sir and ma'am. I think it's ridiculous, especially when it's your parents. Like, imagine getting in trouble for calling your dad dad and not sir to me that's just dumb i don't really understand it i don't think you should treat your parents and obviously i know in this case they're not their actual parents but they're in their family at this point in time so having to refer to them as sir as if they're some sort of military leader like uh the sergeant or some sort of tyrant you refer to them as sir you refer to them as ma'am like, why would you want to refer to somebody else who's supposed to be your parent in this situation as the the boss and you're treated as an employee i don't know man some people i understand how they think it's for respect i just it doesn't sit well with me i've never been a big fan of it uh, i'm 100 percent okay with it being at work and in the military but when it's at home with your supposed family i don't know i just i don't i don't feel too good about that so uh we'll see how this goes you want to show them to their rooms yeah come on okay, okay. this room mine i guess yeah. If you wouldn't mind, just put on some, some work clothes. We've got a couple of go. jobs to do. I had no time to relax. Like, I just got here. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This is where you're sleeping? Okay. <laughs> okay? You got about 10 minutes. We're going to do some work outside. So about 10 minutes? Yeah, that's fine. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. The yes, ma'am and yes, sir rule, that is just stupid. Yeah, you know, I don't think I'm going to agree with these girls in anything else, but the yes ma'am and yes sir rule is ridiculous, in my opinion. Like I've said, some people may agree, some people may disagree, but in my opinion, it's just dumb. I don't 
I don't know. I don't I don't feel too great about it, but we'll see how this whole thing pans out. I already have an idea that it's not going to, you know, go so well just looking at the title, but uh we'll see. We're not going to judge things prematurely. Let's watch this and really get a feel on how things happen in this household. Maybe they knew the one of them had held a rake before in their lives. This is not my thing, man. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> I think raking is a complete waste of time because you can like just like hire someone to do the work for you. It's not all that bad, is it? Yes, it is. This is a man's job. You want to get? Okay, so that's another problem I have so far. Again, people might come after me for this, but I think it's hilarious how certain females. I'm not gonna say all of them. I don't want all the girls who watch this video to come after me. I'm just saying I think it's kind of funny and ironic how a lot of the girls will say. Oh, girls can do everything that guys can and vice versa, right? But when it comes to certain jobs, oh, this is a man's job. A man is supposed to do this, not a woman. Like, come on. Like, is, does that not have, like, double standards to it? You can't advocate for being able to do everything that a man can do. And then when it comes to that, you're like, oh, no, this is a man's job. I get it. These girls may not advocate for that. This might be a little bit of a reach. It's just... This happens a lot, and I try not to talk about it because I don't want to get into that whole feminism topic. Even though I've talked about it before, just made jokes about it, I wasn't really serious, you know? But I think in this situation, it's just like, it doesn't make sense. I see this happen all over Twitter. It happens on Instagram. It happens all the time. It's like, just pick a side and stick to it. Don't just flip to different points of your argument so it fits your agenda. If you're going to say something, stick to that. All the way up under. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, right. sir. Remember the rules? Yes, sir. I'm gonna be lenient, because I'm, I'm sure you're not sure. I'm not used to saying, like, yes, sir. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Uh, you just did it again. If you don't mind, I'd okay. appreciate it. Thank you. Sir. I was just like, what the hell? Because yes, sir, is to me the most impossible thing to remember. Instead of saying, yeah, yeah, it just okay. gets me. Yes, sir. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. I thought it was new to him. Old habits are hard to break. That looks great compared to the way it did before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'd let them slide the first day, but going forward, there's going to be consequences to it. It's just a respect thing for me. Mm hmm so at least he says he's gonna let them slide the first day i mean i, I kind of understand this whole thing you know what i mean like it's it's all about respect and he doesn't like when you respond saying yeah i get that but are you really gonna punish someone especially someone who doesn't really it isn't used to saying yes sir yes ma'am you know what i mean i don't think it's worth it to punish them for it. and even that like i i'm glad he's being lenient like i said before but i think it's a little bit ridiculous it I don't know, man. He seems like a nice guy. His family seems like they're nice so far. They seem like they're okay. They're not super angry about everything like a lot of these families are, um, you know, super power hungry. But maybe that'll change. Maybe my opinion will change throughout the course of this video. We'll see. Thing for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's going to be a really long week. I don't know what I'm going to do. You guys have two minutes to eat. What are we gonna go do right now? We are going to go to the flooded house. What does that entail? Well, you'll see. Yeah, they had a flooded house, but I was still tired. I didn't really want to do work. Guess we can get started on this. The one thing I wanted to tell you is putting the pieces together and making them fit perfectly. Because if it gets off just a tiny amount, It'll mess everything up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've given you, what, two days? You're a smart girl. Yeah. You just did it again. It's not that easy to change a habit. I can't let it go on anymore, OK? So I'm going to go outside for a second. Using yes, sir, and, and no, sir, and yes, ma'am, no, ma'am is just a sign of respect that you can give to someone that's an adult that deserves respect. So he's talking about how he's given her two days to adjust the yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am thing. I have a feeling he's going to punish her, and so far I can already feel that he's a little power hungry. I could tell he's probably a nice guy, but when you want to be called sir and you want to be called ma'am so frequently to the point to where you'll punish someone who doesn't remember it, it's ridiculous. It's, it's so stupid and it's sad. Quite frankly, it's really, really sad. I don't understand it. I don't think I ever will. A lot of people say it's for respect, and I get that, okay? It's understandable. That's why you call your, your boss, sir, 
or you call your military instructor sir, right? But when you're supposed to be in a family, why would you refer to them as that? You really want to think of your parents, or in this case, not really their parents, but you get the idea. Do you really want to think of your parents as your boss, as a dictator, as some sort of military instructor? Like, come on, dude, that's that's ridiculous. He's really about to make her do some sort of physical task because he's butthurt that she forgot to call him sir. Okay. An adult that deserves respect. What I'm going to do is, is have you run a couple of cones. For I'm not going to run right now. I don't feel good. No, it's not the way it works. It seemed like Amber didn't didn't really have a respect for authority. This will make you think about it next time. And this is the best thing I've got. I'm a football coach, and when a player does something like you did, hey, they're running. OK, well, I'm going to walk it. What really gets under my skin is just a bad attitude. I need you to do what I'm asking you to. I'm doing it. I'm walking your cones. I thought walking cones was It's like a little kid punishment. OK, that's three. So am I done? Are you going to say that anymore? No, sir. All right. I would appreciate it if you wouldn't. Now, I'm pretty sure like at least 80% of people on this planet don't refer to all adults as yes, sir, no, sir. These guys are probably living in like the 70s. I like it. It doesn't make sense in, in all honesty. I have barely ever come across people who have considered the adults around them as sir and ma'am. I don't hear anybody. Nobody. None of my friends call their parents by that. I don't call my parents by that. It's not a disrespect. It's just, it's normal to just speak normally instead of having to add sir or ma'am to uh, like in front of or behind every sentence you make towards them. I just think it adds like a distant layer. Like instead of talking to them like a normal person, you have to talk to them like, like a boss, you know, which I don't, I don't think it's right. I don't think it's cool. Everyone has their own quirks. Everyone has their own things that they consider to be respectful. But at the same time, you're creating a layer against uh, the child, right? Especially if it's your blood child. And I don't, I don't think that works out. I think at that point, it just, it'll, it, it, it hurts you after a while. Okay. Amber, it's a punishment, but that just makes her more mad rather than you know, realizing, hey, I've done something wrong, I need to stop it. Pull that one up, unlock it, and you just push, push against it. Okay, and then that's good. Let's finish this row out, and then I think we can tap. See the run of this piece right there? This, this piece is sticking that way just a little bit. That right there can throw the whole floor off. Okay, so we know they're working on the floor right now, and like, I'm a little late on this, but I, I, I can't believe he's really upset that she's talking to him like a normal, human being my family who's like much older like my grandma my grandpa right they don't refer to be calling us sir they don't ask us to call them ma'am or sir i call my family members ma'am or sir as a joke every now and then because it's funny like they ask you to do something oh yes sir i i captain things like that it's funny right it's not a big deal but when you're with people like this who actually take this so seriously it's it's kind of like a change for you because you go from talking to them like a normal person like you would anyone to adding this authoritative level to them. Like, oh, if you don't call me this, then you don't have respect for me. You don't have respect for authority. Get out of here, man. Come on. Sounds ridiculous. And that's it, guys. It's the end of the video. I mean, it wasn't, like, too bad. I feel like the family is really nice, and the dad seems like he's a really nice person. To me, it's just the, the yes sir thing that kind of gets under my skin, and clearly it's getting under the girl's skin. Because you're not used to it. You're going to have a little bit of a hard time adjusting to it. And I don't think making someone do a physical activity to let them know is really going to help anything. That's just my opinion, though. Some of you guys may be like, well, after my parents make me do a physical activity, it makes me remember. I don't I don't think so. OK, if you talk to them, of course, I think consequences are definitely need to be in order in these kinds of situations. But if they're not used to it and you make them run laps like across cones, just to make them remember when they're really not used to saying it. I don't know. I think there's something wrong there. I think there's like some new methods you need to come in place or maybe get with the times in 2020 and actually realize, well, maybe people don't go by sir and ma'am so heavily anymore. Maybe I should lighten up on them because it's really not that big a deal. It makes sense if they grew up that way, but overall it's like, come on, it's 2020. Like lighten up, man. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button and hit the subscribe button as well if you want to see more content like this. I'll try to post whenever I can, uh, whenever I get some ideas that come to mind. Also, if you want to join my Discord server, there will be a link in the description. Just remember that the link is timed, so click as fast as you can. And if the link is invalid, by the time you see the comment, make sure you let me know and I will be sure to send a new one. Love you all. Bye.
Okay, it's childish can't be no homegirls drop it like the NASDAQ. Move white girls like this poke up my ass crack. Move black girls, cause man, fuck it, I'll do either. I love pussy, I love bitches, dude. I should be running Peter in Adidas with some short shorts. B O 